Hey guys, Brian Killerow, Camperman here. So I just did a video on reasons why you should buy a truck camper slash benefits to a truck camper. So I wanted to do the inverse of that and talk about things I don't like about a truck camper or things you should consider when purchasing a truck camper. So the first thing that I wanna talk about is the price per square foot. Uh, in a truck camper, the price per square foot is much higher than most other campers out there. And now I'm looking at campers that don't have an engine. Cause again, you know, a truck camper is in an RV. So that's one thing to look at is just the price per square foot. I mean, some of the higher end truck campers will cost $60,000. And you could get a pretty impressive fifth wheel or travel trailer for 60 grand. Um, so that's one thing to just keep in mind. Um, another thing that's kind of a, a downside or thing I don't like, wherever you go, your truck camper goes. So unlike a fifth wheel or a travel trailer, you know, you can, when, once you get to your campsite, you can drop it, you can leave it there and go off. You can do that with your truck camper, but you got to take your tie down system off. Then you got to take it off the truck. And in my opinion, that is more work than hooking and unhooking a travel trailer. Um, and you also, if you do keep your truck camper on your truck as you move around, you have to make sure everything is put away. Um, so it's kind of either you got to put everything away and drive it around or you got to drop it off at your campsite. Uh, the other thing is there's little, little cargo space in a truck camper. You're limited to the amount of stuff that you can put in here um, based on how big your camper is or how much room you have in your truck. Uh, versus like for us, when we take our travel trailer out, we have the entire bed of our truck for cargo. And so um, if we want to take the same amount of gear with us when we go camping with the truck camper, we would have to take a, 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 you know, a trailer more than likely, which then kind of defeats the purpose of having a truck camper. Because one reason people love truck campers is the mobility aspect of it. Um, the other thing I want to talk about with mobility is truck campers. And again, this is from my experience with my truck camper. Um, it, they're not as mobile as you think off road. I mean, my truck camper only weighs 1700 pounds and I've taken this thing on national forest before, and it is not a pleasant experience in my opinion. I mean, you're definitely pretty tippy and whatnot. And I have a one ton truck and again, a much lighter camper. Uh, I don't have airbags, so I do have to say that, but still it's, it's not as easy to get around off road as some people think. So one downside to a truck camper is your truck cab and your camper are completely separate. And what I mean by like that is unlike an RV where they're combined, where you can just roll up, turn your RV off and then just walk back to your camper. Uh, to, to your living space. You can't do that in a truck camper. So where that could be a problem is say you're at a campground, some bears come in or uh, I don't know, maybe there's somebody out there threatening you or something like that. You'd physically have to get out of your camper and go into the cab of the truck. So some people don't like that aspect. Um, the other thing about a truck camper is the fact that it's very small. I mean, inside my truck camper here, I have had four people staying here before. Uh, it is extremely tight. Maybe not when you're sleeping, but when you're trying to move around and walk around, and you have four people in here with all their gear. It is extremely tight. So uh, that's one thing to consider. I mean, even some of the bigger host campers or whatnot that are huge and have three slides, uh, you know, just try to fit four people in there versus like a travel trailer and you know, it's going to be a lot tighter of a, a space. Um, another main issue that you see a lot more in truck campers is moisture. So up here in this upper bunk area, you'll notice that I have these boards under here to elevate the bed. That's for moisture, just to try to allow some air to circulate and whatnot, because this upper bunk area, uh, moisture just stays up here. And especially when we go truck camping in the winter time, 
it's extremely hard to keep moisture from being in here especially since we have the propane furnace going on and we'll pretty much all the time have to open up the windows even if it's negative 15 out uh, otherwise we're gonna fog up all the windows and there's gonna be you know uh, moisture on the walls and <laughs> I mean it, it's pretty bad and if you check out West Coast Roller he's a guy who lives in his truck camper full-time in Oregon um, he has a series of videos just on moisture related problems and with that uh, more on the exterior side of things a lot of truck campers you'll see when you're buying used ones again in this upper bunk area um, if they're 15 20 years old more often times than not there's exterior moisture problems uh, up in the upper bunk and i don't know if it's just because that gets a beating as you're driving down the road and you know i don't i don't know but truck campers in general usually have moisture problems up in that upper bunk and then they also just seem to get more beat up uh, than other campers and a couple of the areas that they really get beat up and can be catastrophic to the truck camper is the tie down systems and your jacks again if you look at older campers 15 or 20 years old uh you know probably every other one has issues in either of the in either of those either in the jack system or in the tie down system and if a jack comes off or your tie down system comes off or something like that it can be again catastrophic to the to the camper to try to repair those issues is a big deal and you just don't have to worry about that stuff if you have a travel trailer or a fifth wheel so uh, those are the things that i don't really like about owning a truck camper and the things that you definitely want to consider when buying a truck camper so if you guys have any additional things that you can think of feel free to put them in the comments below Otherwise, thank you guys for watching this video here. Check out some of the other videos I have. Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you later.